Hey guys, so I want to talk about shared site coordinates and kind of how to work with them and uh, um, you know for showing an architectural building in different locations on a site. It's actually pretty easy to do. Um, this practice can get more complicated when you start integrating actual site coordinates and leveraging the uh, survey point and uh, that kind of stuff and I'll show you some great resources for that but if you just want to quickly get in there and kind of organize your site uh, maybe you already have a location for the building you know place it on that location and then organize all your MEP um, uh, Revit models into that same coordinate system so everything's you know always aligned then this might be a good method for you and it's not too hard to do so I've got the a uh, Revit 2019 open and I've got a site file and all I did was I went to the massing and site and I just drew a topo surface so I clicked a few points um, you can have whatever really uh, there as long as you can kind of show the building moving around something so you can kind of get context and and know um, it's actually moving so um, I also created a um, just an architectural building um, or, or from the architectural template I just created uh, some walls and stuff you could probably you could use any any template and even if you don't have a template you can open up and draw some walls you should have some walls in there um, to use draw them um, and then save the two files at some location and then what I like to do is actually go into the site file uh, especially if you're you if you have multiple uh, Revit models that you're linking in uh, go to the site file orient the building to the location that you want it and then push those coordinates to the linked model so push it back to the arc model so I'll do that here so right now I have the arc or the site file open the architectural link in there so if we link it and it doesn't have shared coordinates set up it's gonna come in uh, origin to origin or, or, or the center point whatever um, you're not gonna have that option to set it up on shared coordinates because it doesn't have that yet so when you do link it in um, you'll actually you can select it and then come over here to internal and then you'll set uh, come over here to change and generally what you'll have here is internal is already set up and what you'll do is um, or what I like to do is I like to duplicate it and then it'll give you a default like um, new site and I'll just use that um, and that's just my way of trying to keep it all organized um, I know that this new site is the updated coordinate system that we're using the old one um, is there in case something goes wrong so I'll duplicate and then you know uh, leave it new site or if we do have multiple options which I'm going to show you then I'll give them those different names so for example east and west I've added to this um, um, location uh, dialog box and when you do you can select the site that you want from here too after you set it up and so for example if we want to start with internal we'll press OK and then uh, we can actually change so it's what it's going to do is now this location where we're sitting right here it, internal that's what internal represents so that's where it sits on this site and if we move it while this shared site is set to an to internal as you see it'll update that location um, there so to kind of show you in bigger context if we move this down way down here and we know originally it was here if we actually come up here move instance to internal um, or actually we'll move instance to like east um, this is actually so we've got this prompt because we updated the eternal uh, location and what it's wanting us to do is actually push that coordinate system back to the uh, architectural model so it's updated in there um, so we could go ahead and do that so I could say save and now we know that that's updated um, so I'm going to move it to internal and we'll see so now it's down there 
So um, it's pretty much as easy as that. After we have the link, we then you know assign it to some shared coordinate and then move it to wherever the location is. Uh, do do keep in mind though when we, for example, it's set to internal. If we move this over here, here we got that prompt again. So it's it's wanting to save um, that what we just updated the internal site. It wants to save that back into the architectural model. Um, I'm going to press uh, OK for now. We can kind of skip that and save it later on. So if we move it over, um, you can see that we uh, um, then have the option of saying record current position and changing it to something else. You don't want to do that because what's going to happen is um, though we moved it while it was internal, we essentially updated the internal uh, coordinate system. If we use this to switch to a different coordinate, so if we record current position and then switch here, so if we select east and then press OK, what's going to happen is that east is now going to be um, pulled in as the shared site and then the location where it sits right here is going to be recorded as its new position. Um, so you always want to move the instance. So we want to move like um, to east. We'll just press um, OK. And then we can see it shift over to the east. And um, you know if we want to shift it to the west, what we'll do is we'll go west, shift it over there. We do not, again, want to do this part of it. Um, I mean, it essentially says that here. So it's saying record current position as building one uh, west. Um, if we come up here and change something, then it's going to update it. You know, it changes that from west to east. So just keep that in mind. Um, so what I'll do now is we'll create a new shared coordinate. So we'll come here and we'll change and we'll uh, duplicate. Maybe we call this south. Press OK. And then um, we'll press OK again. And again, it's it's prompting us to record current position as uh, building one south. So this is, and this will modify the link again. It's going to push that um, now new um, site location and the updated uh, um, south um, position. So if I press OK to that, it will do that. Um, I also have an option down here to do not share site of selected instance. Um, so if we could select that and then do this, move the site to wherever we want it to go, and then come back here and then say record position, we can change it and then change it to south. Press OK. Press OK again. And then now we um, have that south location updated. So if we shift this to something else like the east and then maybe shift it back um, to the south we can see that that's updated um, you'll also get the prompt you know for example we haven't been prompted to save that back into it if we actually save this file we should be prompted to um, save the location so location positions changed and what it's essentially asking is to save whatever it is that we've done in this link um, or with that link, the architectural link, back to, to the um, actual Revit model. I'm going to close that. And do keep in mind that when, we, when you go around updating these and say you get this uh, position correctly, pin these models to ensure that they don't get moved around or to hopefully reduce the amount of times they may be um, moved around uh, because as soon as somebody moves that they may just kind of click through that dialog box and accidentally update that shared site location and that's going to kind of mess with the rest of your models and um, something I like to do is when the site's been set up what you'll do in here is um, You'll go to uh, your Manage tab and then your Locations and then Site. 
you can see here I've already set up new site um, and essentially that's what's gonna be that's what it is now currently new site and then when we go into the architectural model um, that's the internal that's the site's coordinate system that we're gonna pull from so we're gonna go we're gonna click then since we're gonna be in the architectural model we're gonna then click on the site model and say hey new site um, and then it's going to bring it in at the right coordinate system and then we can start sh you know um, shifting our uh, site model around because it actually has within that dialog box we'll have the southwest and east uh, set up so that we can start shifting it around in there as well if needed um, and maybe I'll go ahead and actually open that and we'll, we'll take a look at it so I'll save this All right, and now I'll go ahead and open uh, building one. So we see that here, I'll open. And then what we'll do is we'll go to manage links. We will add, we'll look for that site one. And as I said before, if you're adding something that doesn't have shared coordinates, it's not gonna have that option. Um, this one does, so we can actually come down here, shared coordinates, press open. And then it's going to prompt us with that dialog box so that we can work with that and actually select the correct coordinate system. Because um, as we saw before, sites had internal and it also had um, all right. So with it open, we'll select new uh, new site. We'll press OK, OK, and now we have our site LinkedIn and then in the correct location, and then we have. Our building if we want to start shifting our building around because if we remember we haven't done anything in this Revit model ex or yeah in the architectural Revit model except for create these walls um, and then all the coordinates were pushed from the site file so if we actually um, with the architectural model open come up to the manage tab we have the locations we can actually go to our site um, tab and then we have them all in there we can start moving things around so if we want to go to East and make current and press OK, we can see that the um, site file has essentially uh, shifted or our architectural model has essentially shifted so that we could now represent that um, building over there and just see these different um, locations. So if I come back here, we can take a look at south, um, the current, OK, and then it moves down there. So um, again, you know pin all your links and push everything if possible from your site model um, and if you want to start orienting your uh, MEP systems correctly um, say you already have your architectural model set up its locations have been set on the site file um, what you'll do is you'll take all of the existing you know if you've gone in there and created grids and levels um, copy monitor those inside your MEP models and then align those you know within your site model site site model link them in and then um, align them with the grids so that they all you know come in at the same elevations and orientations and then from there um, push that new site um, update to each of those and then you'll have those updated as well um, and some of the research so this can actually get a little bit more complex and i won't dive too much into that essentially you can use this workflow to get your models at least oriented correctly and then you can also give them more options to be moved around but if you want to uh dive a little bit deeper into this i would definitely recommend uh two resources um each of these resources are from paul Aubin or paul Aubin, and um uh, one is the LinkedIn learning course super awesome. Uh, I definitely recommend it. it's about two hours long and um, You can kind of go through there and kind of pick you know what it is that you're kind of dealing with at that, you know specific um, time 
or you can kind of go through the course um, entirely. Um, another great one is actually another one of his um, um, uh, courses or classes, and it's from Built or, or RTC then Built Now, and it's the you know um, the rabbit theory of relativity, understanding shared coordinates. So this is a document, a Word document. So um, if it's something, uh, if you learn better with reading, I definitely recommend it. A lot of great information's in here. Um, it's hard for me to retain this. I definitely like his LinkedIn Learning course, but you know whatever kind of works for you, I definitely uh, recommend going for it. Um, I'll share these links below, so just check them out if you want. Um, hopefully, you got some insight, you know, into how these kind of work. Um, I'm still learning them, so if you have any comments or um, just uh, um, some questions, whatever it is, let me know, and uh, I'll gladly uh, answer or, or do what I can. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, thanks a lot.